Now we're going to learn order of operations with sign numbers. So if I have something like this, negative 12, negative 8, over negative 8 plus 4. So now we just do our numerator separate from our denominator. I look at my numerator and everything I look at, I got to decide. Is it addition subtraction or is it multiplication division rules? And we can't mix them up. Addition subtraction rules is the ones with all the words. If the signs are alike, add and take the same sign. If the signs are different, subtract, take the sign of the larger. Multiplication division is short and sweet. Like signs are positive, unlike signs are negative. So I look at my numerator. I should know that that's addition subtraction. Addition subtraction is the one with all the words. If the signs are alike, add and take the same sign. So I get negative 20. I look at my denominator, addition, subtraction. The signs are different, subtract, take the sign of the larger. Now, I have to click off in my head and I think, all right, now I'm in multiplication and division rules. Like signs are positive, unlike or negative. So four into 20 is five. I do have like signs, so it's positive. All right, let's do another one. Let's say I have negative seven plus three times four negative seven squared. So now, order of operations says what to do in parentheses first. So I'm gonna copy this over, negative three squared. Remember, order of operations is P-E-M-D-A-S. We have to do what's in parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplications or divisions as they appear from left to right, then addition or subtraction as it appears from left to right. So I'm down here. I did what's in parentheses. I have to do exponents next. You can't just pick and decide and get negative four. So my negative seven stays, I'm gonna square that. Negative three times negative three gives me a positive nine. But I have to know that this was a times. So when you're in parentheses, you keep parentheses until you use something on the outside. So I'm in parentheses, I keep parentheses. Now, I did parentheses, I did exponents. I have to do all multiplications and divisions as they appear from left to right before addition subtraction. So you can't go and get negative four. I have to multiply that. So three nines are 27. So now subtract, take the sign of a larger. I'm going to get positive 20. All right, let's do another one negative 24 divided by 12 divided by negative 2. Nothing to do in parentheses. This does not count as parentheses in order of operations. Parentheses means when there's something to do inside. There is nothing to do inside. So there's nothing to do inside parentheses. No exponents. I have to do all multiplications and divisions as they appear from left to right. I cannot pick and choose. I can't just do this first because I want to. It's from left to right. So I look here, I have to do that first. 12 and the 24 is two, unlike signs are negative. Now I do my division, like signs are plus, I get positive one. Let's do another one. Negative 20 divided by 10 times two plus negative five. There's nothing to do in parentheses. This doesn't count as parentheses. No exponents. I gotta do multiplication or division as it appears from left to right. So I have to do this first. Sometimes it's division, sometimes it's multiplication. A common mistake, there's gonna be people that multiply this because they think because of this memory guide, multiplication comes first. The rule is multiplication or division. They are stuck together. 
So I divide these, I get negative 2 times 2 plus negative 5. I did parentheses, there wasn't any, did exponents. I got to do multiplications or divisions before addition subtraction. Here's my multiplication. Unlike signs, negative. Now I got addition subtraction. You should know that a plus says keep that the same. The signs are alike, so I'm going to get negative 9. All right, let's do one a little bigger. Uh, negative 10 plus negative 2 times negative 3. 8 minus 6. I do my numerator separate from my denominator. I look at my numerator. I got to do multiplications before I do addition and subtraction. So I get a positive 6. My signs are different. Subtract, take the sign of a larger. My signs are different. Subtract, take the sign of a larger. Division. Unlike signs, gives me a negative. Let's do another one. Negative 8, negative 20, divided by 2. 4 times negative 5 plus 14. Have to do division before I do addition subtraction. So I'm going to get negative 8, negative 10. Over here on multiplication, unlike signs, negative 20 plus 14. My numerator, my signs are alike, add and take the same sign. So I get negative 18. My signs are different, subtract, take the sign of the larger, negative 6. 6 into 18 is 3, unlike signs, negative. The only thing now that can be really tricky is exponents. If I have something like this, the quantity negative 3 squared and negative 3 squared. This one's in parentheses. That means as a grouping symbol, this negative is glued to that 3. So this means what you think it means. Negative 3 times negative 3 is going to give me positive 9. This is the one that's going to come up. And in this course, it comes up here and there. I'd say at least 80% in this course, you're going to end up with this one. But I should know. If I have a, don't have parentheses, by definition of exponent, it just refers to the 3 and not its sign. So this means 3 squared is 9, and the opposite of that is negative 9. So it can get confusing. So if I have this, negative 3 squared, negative 3 squared, and I have to simplify it. This is the one that's in parentheses. That means this negative is glued to that 3. So negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. This is the exception. The square just refers to the 3. So that's a 9, and this means the opposite of. So in this case, I get a 0. All right, let's try another one. Let's say I have negative 7 squared plus negative 3 squared. This is the exception. This is the one where I just square the 7 and get 49 and it's a negative 49. This is a grouping symbol. This is positive 9. So I get negative 40. Let's say I have this one. Negative 4 squared minus minus 3 squared. This one is the hardest one. So, Nothing to do in parentheses, have to do exponents. 
this is in the grouping symbol. So this is going to be a positive 16. Now A students get this wrong all the time because now we know that this negative changes that to a plus, which is correct. But in order of operations, exponents comes before addition subtraction. So I can't make this a plus yet because exponents comes first. So now when I square this, I'm going to get positive 9. We have to use everything. I did not use that negative. So it stays. I can't have two signs touching. I have to put in a parenthesis. So now I have 16, negative 9. So now I'm going to get 7. I mean, if you're clear with everything else but this, like, don't worry. But we'll do a couple more. Let's say I have negative 6 squared, negative 2 squared. This is the exception. This is when the squared just refers to the 6. So I get 36, copy over the negative. 2 squared is 4, copy over the negative. The signs are alike, add and take the same sign. All right, this one, negative 5 squared, negative, negative 4 squared. I square this, negative is not inside, so I just square the 5, which is positive 25. The negative says change what's inside. I can't make this a plus yet because exponents comes before. So I get a positive 16 from here. Copy that down. Can't have two signs touching. So now I have negative 25. Negative says change that. The signs are alike. Add and take the same sign. negative 41. Um, let's see. Let's make another one up. Let's try. 8 squared minus minus 5 squared. Okay. 8 squared, 8 eighths are 64. I can't make that a plus yet because exponents comes before addition or subtraction. So I square this. It's in parentheses. That negative is, this is grouped by that parentheses. I square that. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. I didn't use this. Have to keep it. Can't have two signs touching. Put in a parenthesis. My 64 stays. Negative says change that. So now, I subtract, take the sign of the larger. I get 39, and it's going to be positive.